Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is another video request. And this request is a request for a country rustic flower girl basket. And shame on me for misplacing the message because it came on Facebook. And somehow all of my Facebook messages got deleted and I am so sorry for whoever it was that requested this video, but please know that I remember you requested it. This is what I came up with. What all do you need for this project? I picked up these three galvanized pots at the 99 cent store for $1.99. As soon as I saw these, I knew this is what I was looking for for this project. You're also going to need some of the thicker craft cord here the Valspar color samples that I used, and today I'm gonna be using the Cape Sands. I'll also be using the Krylon Satin Almond Spray Paint. Starting this project off, I think what I'm gonna do is spray paint this with the Krylon Satin Almond Spray Paint as my base. I don't wanna get any on the inside, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this upside down and give this a couple coats. I've put two coats of satin almond on this pot. Now I'm gonna apply a rough coat of the Valspar sample paint, the Cape Sands color. You can pick this up at Lowe's. They've got an amazing selection of sample paints. And you can see that I'm not looking to fully cover this pot with this paint. Just a rough coating because it's just going to add to the distressed look that I'm looking for when I go to distress this even more. My pot is dry so now I am going to take my light sandpaper and I am going to distress this. And I don't want to sand too hard because I don't want to go through both layers of paint. super cute so far. You can get these wood tags with the chalkboard on them for a dollar at Target. I thought it would be cute to take one, have it hanging from the pail, and with chalk put Here Comes the Bride. not super happy with how it looks with the light wood so I'm just gonna take a sharpie and I'm gonna make it dark brown I've picked up this spool of shabby chic ribbons from Michaels for $2.50 it's got five different burlapy cream twine type ribbons on it and this is what I want to incorporate in the handle of the bucket along with some of the thicker craft cord. I'm going to take the thicker craft cord and measure out how long I want the handle of the pail to be and I'm just going to eyeball it and I am loving this ribbon that kind of has twine and cream in it and so what I think I'm going to do is kind of twist them together. Now I'm gonna hot glue this onto the pail and I'm gonna hot glue it to the outside of the pail. I also picked up this 24 piece of paper flowers from Michaels and they've just got the distressed look. Some of them are cream, some of them have newspaper and I really loved it. They were on sale for $2.50 for this 24 piece set. And I'm really liking these daisy ones with the brown tips. There's all different kinds in here. They've even got these printed paper ones that are awesome. Some solid cream ones. But I think I am gonna go with, I love this daisy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these right where I hot glued the handle onto the outside. 
Look at how cute that looks, I love it! I feel like it's missing something, so of course, I'm gonna go to my go-to twine and make a bow. And there we have it. I am super happy. That is so stinking cute and I just love it. I think that this is the perfect rustic, shabby chic, country wedding flower girl pail. Isn't that just adorable? Well everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this DIY rustic shabby chic country wedding flower girl pail. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that red button and stick around a while for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me fan mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.